this episode we leave Broome with a full tank of petrol. We head up to a spot called James Price Point. We stay there for three nights. We day trip out to Cape Levique and we also stay at Bar Creek before heading back to Broome. G'day guys, welcome back to a new episode. Super excited about this one. We're at James Price Point, just outside of Broome. We've just pulled up to this primo spot, fully lucked out right on the beach. So these two videos are gonna be broken up into two different parts. Broome itself, which is the township, and then everything you can do outside of Broome. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. So this is the spot guys. Um, there's so many spots all along the coast at James Price Point here, they're absolutely amazing. So the only thing I would say is watch the tides. You don't really want to be down below the tide line, but it's pretty well marked out from where the cliff, sort of the cliff edge ends to where the tide line meets up. So you're pretty safe. One thing we are keeping an eye on is crocs. Um, we did swim at Cable Beach in Broome. However, I think because we're a little bit further north, the probability of running into a salty is probably a bit higher. So I don't know if we'll be swimming much here, but we'll be definitely wet in the line. Just been to Tackle World and picked up these new lures called Vibes. So pretty keen to uh, throw a few of them around. Sarah's just inside setting up. A bit of wind today, which is good, so it should keep the van nice and cool. But lately it's been so hot, we haven't been uh, used to this heat on the trip so far. So yeah, sort of enjoying it, but because we can't swim, it's a bit of a burden. So we'll see how we go with that. We might get a cheeky dip in, just sprint in, sprint out, who knows. Mm. You can go out further and then I'll go on the shore. Alright, sounds good. When we were coming in, the track got a bit boggy because we didn't know where we were going to. We didn't really know where you could turn around the track. It's just single lane. It got real soft. I sort of crapped myself a bit because I had to back it back and if anyone's reversed a trailer in soft sand, it doesn't really work the best. You sort of got to really punch it in low range. But when I was swinging the front around, I've um, just sconed a tree. Didn't look where my swing radius was going to be, but hasn't done any damage. But I guess that's why we put bull bars on cars for that very reason right there. As you can see, I've used the bull bar a fair bit. There's a bit of limestone. Fresh little tree sap, sap scar. Realise we've got some stone chips on, on the side of the door from the muddies because the mud terrain tyres have a little bit of poke. They've been flicking up rocks into the side of the car. So what we've done is we've gone and purchased some Iron Man scrub bars and side steps bit of a hit to the bank account but I think they'll be worth it because they might protect the side a bit as they'll stick out the furthest part of the car stop the rocks fl flinging up and our mates um, Shane and Jody are coming with their um, toddler Mia she's so cute you should see this baby's eyes they're as blue as they get so we we'll introduce you guys to them uh, I've known Shane for a long time he's one of the my older surf mates so even though there's not many surf not much surf around here we should still have a pretty good time I reckon so so we've just been down to the post office and Keelan's gotten a little crazy. It's actually like probably our favourite thing I reckon when we're on the road is actually getting stuff in the mail. Such, such a nice thing to look forward to and I haven't opened this yet for a reason because I want to open it in front of you guys. I'm going to do a full video on this so what we've got here is a 200 watt flexible solar blanket to replace our old crappy one but what I'm going to do to make a separate video and compare my old crappy one with the new iTech World one. And you're probably thinking, aren't you sponsored by iTech? So won't it be a no-brainer who you're gonna go with? I'm gonna try to take off my iTech World cap and be very non-biased judge and just assess the difference between this solar blanket from iTech World and the ones I currently have from King. So stay tuned for that video, but how good does that look? Comes in a case. Bloody 
You've got your solar egg and your alligator clips in there. Beautiful. I don't even know how to open them. How good does that look? Hopefully it goes as good as it looks. I reckon red goes faster, so I don't know about orange. I reckon that'd be close second, surely. Anyway, we're gonna plug it in and see what happens. Cut. So I plugged the iTech World 200 watt solar panel in, just to see what it would do. So the panels on the roof are only putting in 7.2 amps, 300 watts. But then I realised they're only putting in 7.2 amps because the battery's full and that's all that I'm taking out of it. So I went and plugged it in and I couldn't actually see how much it was putting in. But you're going to have to stay tuned for that little review video of that, guys. I can't wait to do that. I reckon their results will be pretty bloody good. I've heard some sick things about their solar panels. So I'm keen to see for myself how good they actually are. We'll, we'll find out. So it looks good. Hopefully it performs just as good. So I was really trying to showcase how good our window view is. But all I can see is this. Someone's left their bloody dirty poo paper on the ground. <laughs> so a lot of you guys have been ripping on us for saying um too much. So we're really trying to stop that. But just to get them out of my system. Um. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully we don't say anymore. We'll try our best. It's not not the easiest thing to not say um but because I don't say them in real life but as soon as I get on the camera it's sort of my thinking word you sort of get like a nervous little twitch thing that's yeah not 100% in character so we'll try to cut that out for you guys Just I know thumbs it. And tapping on stuff. oh yeah and this <laughs> tapping on everything when I talk about things I just touch it can't help myself anyway see ya can you um, tell me about the dirty poo paper over there then um are you gonna touch that no, I probably won't go touch the dirty t t toilet paper. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, people are pigs. Why can't they just take their shit with them? It's not that hard. Don't they look out and look at this pristine environment where the red meets the ocean and like think, oh, if I shit here, it's sort of not the best spot to shit. Go shit somewhere in the bush where it's like unseen and, and bury it. Yeah, bury your toilet paper. It's not that hard. Anyway, I'd feel pretty shit crap in here pardon the pun anyway I'm gonna go for a fish see if there's any fish around Woo. I spent most of my time viewing Klosky of WA <laughs> Bunbury is a Prado a Land Cruiser. Well, come and meet you. Come around here. What does this say? Oh, that says Land Cruiser. So I'm going to say it is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the cleanest 90 series I reckon in Australia. I'm challenging you to, to prove me wrong on that one. And toes a camp right T6, is it? G6. G6, quality bit of kit. How good does that setup look? We're just down at James Price Point. We've gone for a little walk along the rocks here. Um, this is literally where Keelan was fishing before, so. A bit weird with all the tide that's gone out and now it's a rock pool. It's blending in with another crowd. When things go wrong, we'll pass the blame Cause I kill I wait for someone else. What are you doing? for a swim with no crocodiles. <laughs> 
so good. <laughs> for a little beach comb along the beach here. Um, thought I'd find some cool shells, but literally just found rubbish. <laughs> Coffee plunger. Really is that on the beach? For permission, why do I keep asking? What is it? Hermit crab. Oh, look, look. It's actually pulling my nail. Oh. End of the bloody day. The tide is literally 200 metres out from where I was fishing before. It's insane, the king tide's up here. King tide was yesterday. Sarah's just cooking up a storm here. Bit of tacos for dinner tonight. How's the backdrop on today? Eh? So nice. Absolutely insane. Could you, could you think about a better spot to cook dinner? It's no. almost not a chore anymore. It's that bloody good. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something in the air Inexplicable good was that sunset so pretty I'm not shitting ya but that was probably one of the best sunsets I've ever seen on the drone something about that red rock that just gets me going that sounds really wrong <laughs> but yeah you, you know what I mean the red rock gets you going the red rock gets me going I love the bloody Pilbara no we're not in the Pilbara we're in the Kimberley look at this shit hot damn Change just lit a fire. Thought I burnt the drone on the fire for a second there. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. Yeah, for all the sunset pics. Good morning guys, it's a bloody new day, weather is immaculate again, tide is currently halfway in, so plan is for today, um, Sarah's got a big chunk of stuff in her foot, let's have a look, oh it's all gone now, can't really it's see it, it's on the other side as well, anyway she's got a big chunk of stuff in her foot so trying to get that out, it's a pretty rough environment so if you do come here make sure you bring some uh, reef shoes, Definitely recommend that. So, we're gonna have our fifth coffee for the day and then maybe head out to a spot called Hidden Creek. Shane is gonna be the tool guide today. He's gonna show us where to go. So hopefully he's onto it. Hopefully he knows what he's talking about. And if he doesn't, I'll just hang shit on him.
crocodiles hang out. So these are the, the new lures that I bought, especially for this area. Apparently mangrove jack and stuff love them, so I'm gonna have a little clip. I don't think I'll catch anything, but I'll have a bloody go. We're just day tripping down to Hidden Creek. It's stressing us out a little bit because Shane's really into like hectic four wheel driving, like really hard trucks. And you can we're tell sort by of, his 90 series. Yeah, <laughs> we're sort of, we like it, but we not like too it, hectic. Yeah. So yeah, we're thinking like far out, this must be pretty bad because he literally said the other day when he came down, he wasn't going to come down here again. Yeah, and so, so, so tight are. because <laughs> Get yeah, the camera out fast. I think Jody's gonna film actually. Oh well, he's gonna film us now. see him he's taken off and we're touching the sides like apparently the other day though Shane's mate took his 200 series down here so whatever we think's like scratchy imagine what his car looks like after this it'd be crazy That's Hidden Creek done. It's a pretty sick little adventure. Definitely a day trip. Don't go out there for a few hours. The track's pretty bad. So if you don't want to scratch your car, make sure you, well, if you don't want to scratch your car, don't go down there because you will get scratches on your car. But for now, I'm just going to grab some firewood and I'll see you back around the campfire. Every moment tonight, they led me to you. Every 
Morning. This morning we're getting up and we're getting ready to go to Cape Levique. So we're going to leave the caravan and stuff here at James Price Point and we're going to day trip up to Cape Levique, go out to One Arm Point. Pretty excited to see what it looks like up there. The track going out is pretty bad so that's why we're not towing the van out there. Pretty much we don't know what we're expecting so instead of spending fuel towing the van out there we're just going to day trip, see it all in one day, have a big day and then obviously come back to the van here. Tomorrow we might go have a look at Far Creek and Willie Creek and that'll pretty much cap up everything that you can do north of Broome. And we've run out of food so oh, we yeah. can't even go any more days. <laughs> we ran out of food and I can't catch any fish so I brushed my hair, you can probably tell. I haven't I hate, brushed my hair. I hate brushing my hair. It's so hot and humid here, it's so sticky. Yeah. Anyone with curly hair, you're gonna struggle. Yeah. It's so bad. I might cut it off. The, the, the more we go north, the more I want to cut all my hair off. You're not cutting them off. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Did you see a crop or just... We just got up to the Cape. I tried to get to One Arm Point, but couldn't get there just because of COVID and they don't want that going into the communities up there. So we've come back to a spot called Gamberman. Pretty sure that's how you say it. Actually, I'm 90% sure I'm saying everything wrong, but so nice. If, you, if you're coming out here though, make sure you don't just come out here for a day trip. We found that out the hard way. Definitely wish we had brought the, the trailer. But like we've said plenty of times before, we'll just add it to the second lap around Australia list and we'll um, have to spend a bit of time out here next time, I reckon. For now though, I'm just going to chuck a little vibe on and see if I can get a fish. I'm not even sure if you're allowed to fish here. Cooked it. Hey, language, mate. If I get a, if I get a fish, I'm You're lucky you didn't snap. You'd be swimming for it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> That's what a WA cop car looks like. Are you like. jealous of the copper set up? <laughs> yeah. So we just left Signet Bay, had a look at the Pearl Farm Gallery there, it's pretty cool. We saw a necklace that was worth 29 grand. So I'm coming home with pearls everyone. Definitely didn't get any for Sarah. We're selling Percy, we're getting the pearls. Literally if I sold the car I could afford that necklace, how crazy is that? It's such a spin out. The road into Cape Levique we're on right now, it's pretty rough. There's a sign at the front saying if you get stuck towing fees may apply. So. So I guess we're not getting stuck then. Hopefully Cape Levique is as good as all the other spots around here. We've had a pretty good time up the Cape today. Bit of a trek though, like I said before, make sure you come out here for a few days, not just a day trip. It's way too far just for a day trip. But saying that, James Price Point is a really good spot. And 
yeah, we're happy that we're staying out there. We can just add this spot to our second lap of Australia. So we'll go out to Cape Levique and we'll see you guys there. So we just popped to Coolgerman to have a look there. It was $20 per adult and $10 per child to go for a walk. So we didn't actually yeah, go find them around. It was $50 a night to stay there. So if you are gonna go there, you may as well stay a night and not pay $40 Crazy. to go for a walk. We've never <laughs> ever been propositioned to pay 40 bucks just to walk around the caravan site essentially like insane if it was like a proper like guided tour i would have paid 40 bucks to go do that but 40 dollars for us to just guide ourselves around no thank you so we've skipped that joint and we're on to the next we're gonna go look at lombardina lombardina, lombardina. Another we'll one. put it up on the screen because i cannot pronounce any of these words another one that we don't know how to pronounce but i'm sure it's going to be a ripper spot and let's hope it's free just got back to camp and I heard a little hissing sound I was hoping I had just a leaky valve but looks like I've picked up a massive bit of metal just going straight through it pretty unlucky where it's gone through not on the chunky bit of the tread if I had gone through there I reckon I would have got lucky but oh well Get the repair kit out, hopefully fix it with that. The tape's not focusing. It's probably that fingerprint. Well, it's a good sign that you can't just push that straight in, so you might only need the one plug. Okay. Any pliers? You're right. Nah. Right. About to bust your pool valve. <laughs> That's it, that's it. That 20 bucks King's retire repair kit got a use. So we just left James Price Point and we've headed off back towards Broome to a little spot called Bar Creek. We haven't got there yet, we're still trying to find a campsite. We don't know the area and we haven't done much research, go figure, it's pretty much us in a nutshell. So we're just trying to find a little campsite and then we'll pull up, maybe spend one night here. The tyre that I popped yesterday with that sharp bit of metal, the um, repair seems to be going pretty good it hasn't leaked any air so hopefully it doesn't actually leak hopefully it stays good and it gets us to where we need to go
big salty, eh? Big, big salty. I reckon he's three meters. Sorry about the audio, I'm just filming on my iPhone. Didn't bring the camera down here to the Bar Creek River mouth and look what's just floated in. Far out. Look at that. And he's gone. Then there's a little turtle. He'd have to be the luckiest bloody turtle I've ever met, eh? Big salty just goes through and then the turtle floats in after him. Sarah just said she wanted to bring her bathers. I'm so glad I'm not in that water. <laughs> and he's gone too. We don't even know where he went. And it's crystal clear water. Can you get away from them? Like... <laughs> so there you have it, folks. That's our first croc encounter of the trip. They did tell us as we go north that it was going to be more common to see a croc. And there you have it. They're bloody... There's a big salty for you. I reckon he was about three and a half meters. I might be underestimating that. He was a big fish. It was huge. And he was just floating. You saw him. He was just floating like a log. And then he disappeared. I and can't believe that we were literally just standing down there and I was like, oh God, I wish I brought my bathers. And then it freaking floated past. Like, oh my God. Anyway. A panic attack. <laughs> far out. That was sick. I can't believe that. And now ah. Gillen wants to go down to the beach and see if he can see it again on the beach where the crocodile can run up and just grab you. Nah, it's not going to grab me. Yeah, how's that? We're amazed by that thing. We've never seen one in real life. Well, we have at zoos. But to see it in real life in an actual river that you could have been swimming in. There's going to be so many people watching this thinking, oh my God, you guys are such tourists. <laughs> yeah, I'm not over-exaggerating though. Like, I... I I'm a surfer and I've surfed with sharks and stuff, but they're just a different story altogether than big salties far out. That's just insane. Like, they scare me way more than sharks scare me. They're, when you see them in real life, in the wild, it's a totally different kettle of fish than seeing them in the zoo. I can tell you that much. Anyway, if you don't hear from us again, we're dead. If you do, then we're alive. So where we saw that salty, if you... Look just over the other side of the river mouth, there's another campsite. That's probably the better campsite to stay at rather than this one. But this one's better if you don't like any people and you want to be by yourself. Mm. There's also a reception here as well. So we'll chuck up a little wiki camp screenshot of the, the other side of the creek one. It's definitely a lot more picturesque than this one. But this side, you've got the ocean instead of the river mouth and the ocean. And they've got crocodiles and we've got sharks. So anyway, yeah. So we got bogged yesterday. I could have dropped the tire pressure down a little bit more than we did, but opted to use the Max Tracks. Never used them, never really, I don't think I've ever been bogged before that. We were meant to go to Willy Creek this episode as well, but we'll probably include it in the next episode as this one's probably gonna be a bit too long in the tooth. So we'll leave you guys with some shots of this joint from bird's eye view definitely cut down on all the ums like you guys have asked us to that concludes today's episode if you guys want to join our patreon feel free to join we've got a tight knit little group in there and the support goes a long way guys so if you want to join that the link will be in the description down below or i might chuck a link up here or something thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time